th- there's I have a lot of like homegirls that when they've seen us together or whatever, like on IG stuff, they'll be like, oh, I love Vel. She's yeah. so dope. Like people that I wouldn't even expect to be to know, up, yeah? to up on yeah. you that aren't into like underground indie yeah. hip hop or whatever. So if you go to a Vel show, there's going to be a lot of women there. That's like, oh, yeah. would you say it's half and half? Or I would say it's half and half. Like split down the middle, yeah, damn near? split down the middle. Because like even my Spotify numbers, are they're always half and half. Which is ill, but like, uh, like hip hop shows, like Boom Bap in particular, they're cockfest. A lot of dick. Yeah. Like, oh, like an extreme amount, like to the point where I'm going to the ladies' restroom and there's like no crickets. Yeah. It's crickets. Like me and the girls are like t- drinks, taking videos in there, like running up all the stalls for no reason. It's because there's no chicks around. Yeah. So I would like to say that if you're looking for your next honeydew. <laughs> just go to a bell show yeah but don't hit on her too hard you remember you gotta be slick with it yeah don't you, bring her on. a cup of water if she's look like she's sweating but it has to be screwed on yeah like we're not me? taking like, like open a caps. bottle of water yeah not and no I, don't, I need i need the seal to be yeah 100 percent. we're not doing that yeah all right ain't that type that. of party <laughs> um yeah like at, although although it's kind of cool like at the same like for you to be at those shows you know like do you feel like what could get women into wanting to go to those type of shows and why don't they fuck with it um i think you mean like um like male dominated hip hop shows like if you go to like a you know like a a rock marcy show or ro- oh yeah you know like what a rock I'm saying? marcy like, show like or griselda or dope ass like, some of my favorite rappers yeah. you know what i mean like yeah rock marcy is like one like, i love rock favorite, marcy yeah. great producer great rapper super underrated um yeah he's ta- I, he's tapped in he shows me love i want to interview you rock pop yeah. up you feel me like would love to have you on the show a lot of like a lot of these dudes and actually he's not even the best example because i there's probably more girls at his shows yeah than yeah. a lot of other because he's on his p shit yeah because he's a player yeah. he's smooth with it girls but like, a, like moose yeah you know yeah. but but there's a lot of i i remember like some of my first griselda shows that i went to was like 20 18 19 something yeah. like that before they got really big, and there was no chicks there at yeah. all. It was like me and like the two homegirls that I brought from San Bernardino. Like it was just like real cutty. I I think now it's a little different just because like they they can now like they're like the guys. So like yeah. there's it happens like chicks flock to like the guys. Right. But um, I I think times are changing. I think girls are starting to tap more into like that type of that type of rap. You know, it's less about like the bubblegum pop rap and like more about like the gritty shit is do you think and that I, I also think once like these groups like Griselda start collabing with like chicks like me it really starts to open up their the genre cap for them you know benny conway get at the home girl they're, they're tapped in they're tapped in. i already know they know but i want to see the collab all, everybody's tapped in i want to see the collab i want to see the collab too is it um do you feel like it's because the tempo of that music is like a little bit slower, so it's less danceable? Oh, it's absolutely the tempo. It's absolutely like the beats. It's the fact that like you can't really like shake ass too hard to it or like play while you're getting ready. Although I love to like listen to that shit when I'm getting ready, you know? Um, but it's a different wave. I think like now, like, you know, like their girls are starting to like get more on it and like realize like that type of rap is like it's dope. I, I think that I would rather listen to that than, you know, some like other type of rap. If I see a bad bitch twerking to MF Doom, just know that we're getting married. I mean, Whole Cakes is a song. You, you feel me? Like we like, Whole Cakes is a song for a reason. You feel me? Like yeah. we are getting married. I don't give a fuck. I know a gang of chicks that listen to Doom though. That's what I'm more, saying. More more chicks that listen to Doom than Griselda. But it really is like it's just just give it a time, you know. Yeah. Like a couple of years from now, a Griselda show is probably gonna be like half half bitches for sure. That'll be so tight. Yeah. I was at like, <laughs> That'll make, be so tight. I'll like, make me want to go. But um no, I, I love Griselda, you feel me? Boom, 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 boom. Um <laughs> there was um I I had a show at a strip club in the IE a few years oh, ago. Oh gosh. Yeah. It was actually lit, but um there was a chick there, one of the dancers, and she was stripping to neck to necro. Yeah. 
That doesn't surprise me. And I was like, yo. Necro and like naked women go hand in hand. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's for not sure. surprising. But I was kind of like, yo, like you're a rare yeah. bird. I no, fuck yeah. with you. Everybody. I would love like, if I went to a strip and like some bitch was getting down to like KD by Conway. I'd be like, yo, this, this beat is hard. These these bars are hard. Like this chick is hard. Like, <laughs> What's the, the one Conway song with the... What's uh, what's the shorty's name that signed to them? The Liz. What's her name? Uh, oh, um, Armani. Armani Caesar. Yeah, yeah. They have a song together, and I was like, "This is like jiggy right here." Like, yeah, yeah. I could see chicks turning up to that. Like, yeah, yeah. Do, do you like when you make records? Are you do you have a specific audience in mind? Like, this is for the the you feel me the head nod or boom bap heads. This is for the graph heads. This is for the ladies. Like, I or think, is it just kind of? I think I think about it, but then quickly I remember to just throw it all out. Like, don't. Don't write music for people. Write music for yourself, and they'll they'll come to it, you know. So I try not to like necessarily think too hard. I really, to me, music has always come to me like turning on a um a water faucet. Mm-hmm. So I just turn it on. I let it all flow out, and then I turn it off. Vel, what we doing next? What's what's the next move? <laughs> For Vel Nina, you feel me? I'm, um, you know, I have so much music. I'm just like, I'm stacked on music, and I, and it's, it's the best music I've ever like unreleased. When so. I called you the other day, you was in the studio. I was in the studio. I live there if I can. Yeah, but I'm, I'm also like, it's really hard because I have to be a businesswoman too. I've learned to like have to be a boss, a businesswoman, a media a content creator, a email replier, you know, negotiator. But really, like, the hat that I love to wear is an MC. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe. Get us to 500K. Yeah.